If you've been on a social media detox for the last month, you've probably heard of ChatGPT. This is what the dashboard of ChatGPT looks like, but if you don't manage to get on because the server is full, then don't worry about it. I have got another piece of software that you can use. It's also free. You don't have to use your credit card or anything to access it. And I'll show you that at the end of this video. What we're going to do today is test out ChatGPT and see how good it is at writing emails. So here I've got a prompt for an email. I want to write an email to a client apologizing for the delay in responding and tell them that they will get a detailed solution to their query within 24 hours. So I'm just going to put this in now to chat GPT and then I'm going to hit this button or you can hit enter and it's going to get to work. So the way chat GPT works is it's going to take the prompt that I've used. It's then going to go out, use its AI algorithm and produce a response. So I just had to pause the video for about 30 seconds. As you can see now, chat GPT is going ahead and writing that email for us. We've got a subject line here at the top. Dear, it's all structured as an email would be and it has got the copy being written now. Now you'll notice I'm from the UK so we've got some spelling here that we need to check because it's using American English and you'd also need to go through and make sure you proofread everything, make sure it's factually correct. But what I can do when the software has finished writing this email, I can just cut and paste it into my email software, whatever that is. Then I can go through, edit it, put in the right information and hit send. And you can see within under two minutes, we have a full email written for us that we can send off to a client. I did say I'll show you another piece of software if you can't get on directly to ChatGPT. On the screen now, you have got a video that you can watch with this software in action. It's known as ChatSonic, which is brought to you by WriteSonic. And there's also a link to that software in the description of this video. If you enjoyed this, got any value from it, then consider subscribing. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one.